What is it a name? For some at McGuanago High School, the Indian's name is a matter of pride. But for others, it's offensive, a racial stereotype. They say, and the Court of Appeals says that mascot has to go. But our Brett Baganski shows you why the fight is not over in this story, new at 10. A battle in the Classic 8 Conference between the home team, Catholic Memorial Crusaders, and the visiting McGuanago Indians. It's going to end up being a political battle. You know, it's in the court system now. Off the court, a controversial issue is brewing in McGuanago over its name and mascot, the Indian. It's not anything negative at all. State law changed in 2010, giving people the opportunity to file a complaint against a school district if a school had a race-based nickname, logo, or mascot. Foot, 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 foot. And if someone complained, the state superintendent's office would have the power to force a district Program to the name of the associated with it. It's really a celebration of where they've come from and what they've done. And that's really what it is. Two parents from McGuanago sued the Department of Public Instruction, stating the state's efforts to drop the Indian name was unconstitutional because it violated equal protection and due process guarantees. But the Second District Court of Appeals ruled in favor of the state, saying the men who sued had no legal right to sue because they weren't part of the original proceedings. Our district can't afford it. We lost our referendum. People don't have money to give. Nobody can afford their taxes to go up. Parents like Debbie Graham support keeping the name because the McGuanago School District estimates it would cost nearly $50,000 to change the names and logos and everything associated with the district. All this money could be put towards education. And now the two parents who sued are arguing people who complain in this matter are in a better position than district taxpayers who would end up paying for that name change. Now, no word yet if the Supreme Court will take the case. If it doesn't, the district would be forced to change that Indian's name by next year. Live in the newsroom, Brett Baganski, Fox 6 News. So we see if they take the case or not. All right, Brett, thank you for the latest. Well, while you were all snug in your bed last night,